Okay, yeah, y'all need to like scoot it over some because we really can't see. Like all of y'all right here in the way. So y'all need to scooch it over some. I don't care what the timer said, really. <laughs> oh no, y'all don't have to block this. I'm not a youth. And I want I want them to see. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> hey, some, some of y'all on y'all phone, I've been seeing y'all, some of y'all out there yawning and stuff, um, but this is some serious shit. Um, you know, at first when I got here to Madison, about a year after they has, the youth had started coming to the ad hoc meetings, I was like, Oh my gosh, these youth, they're not respecting their elders. They're, they're cursing and stuff. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. But then I sat there and saw how y'all disrespected them meeting after meeting, pronouncing the same two, three people's name wrong. Uh, Let these white supremacists come up in here and be like, we gotta respect them. Watching while one of our youth was getting hit right here and being like, but they look like a 21 year old to me. So I don't really give a fuck if y'all feel disrespected. Because that's their right. They've been getting disrespect for, for almost two years now. And if you're uncomfortable, then maybe you need to, they're doing it so that you can think twice about what y'all are doing up there. So that's, what, that's how it was when I first got here. I thought if we shared some statistics with y'all, if we shared some heartwarming stories, you know, if we just came up here and were respectful, y'all would do the logical next steps. Police kill people. Police harm us. Instead, Every single recommendation, every single action that you've taken have been rooted in white supremacy. So it made me think about what we're actually up against, what I thought at first and what we're actually up against. Today, when I was taking out garbage, I was in my car and this white man comes up to me, like my front driver's side door is open, he comes up to me and approaches me like he's about to get in the car with me, he's like, can I ask you a question? I said, no, thank you, and I started driving off, and then he starts cussing at me, chasing me in the car. So, I mean, I don't call the police on black people, but I mean, I would love for y'all to come and collect y'all white people when y'all acting a fool. So I called the police. After I explained the incident, the dispatcher was like, so you said it was a black man? I didn't say shit about race at first. This is what we're up against. Everything y'all do is rooted in white supremacy and anti-blackness. So we really can't trust y'all to make decisions about the lives of these students because this is some serious shit. We don't need people who are sitting up here checking their phones, yawning and everything else, and who have sat and looked at the recommendations and said, yes, that looks good, because this is some serious shit. I've come to the conclusion that y'all need to step down because we ain't getting nowhere with y'all. Step down. And I canvass with my leaders I do civic engagement. The people at the doors on the south side have come to the same conclusion. Y'all need to step down because this is trifling. And clearly, y'all don't think that this is serious. So like I said, just step down. Y'all playing these white liberal politics when this, when this shit is serious. Please the demands finish, please, of the youth. Please finish up. I had 40 extra seconds. I saw it, Mary Burke. I, re, I, I had 40 it. extra seconds. I reset it. I have please no, even up. after you reset it, I have 40 extra seconds. I'm a grown ass woman. I can read the numbers. Please so, the demands finish. that these youth have been saying. You can talk slower and talk with a uh, slower cadence. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to finish my statement. So the demands that they have been saying, completely remove police from schools, invest resources in education that promotes leadership, wellness, learning, and creativity for youth of color. That doesn't mean writing black excellence at the top of some bullshit ass plan. Because before we can be excellent, we need to have our needs met. Give community control over school safety. This means students, families, and community need decision-making power within our schools. Build transformative justice models instead of punishing youth. That means y'all be acting a fool sometimes too, and sometimes y'all need to go to restorative justice circle too. So that's my statement. Thank you. Caleb.